Howdy Swim fans, here with another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, we're discussing how to vary your swim workouts. Now, if you're like most and you swim on your own without a coach, varying your swim workouts and keeping things interesting can be a huge challenge. But there's a ton of benefits when you change up your workouts. And those benefits include not only improving your performance, but increasing your mental engagement with the workout that can make all the difference. Now, when we talk about variety, what we're actually discussing is the qualitative difference between a workout. You might swim the same distance workout in the same amount of time, but there's a ton of different changes you can do to manipulate that workout. And some of those changes include the intensity of the different sets that you do, the different distances that you can do within the actual workout, also, the strokes that you do, so whether you're doing IM or freestyle or backstroke or breaststroke or butterfly, kicking drills, or adding in equipment. And of course, you can vary the workouts by manipulating all four of these factors, intensity, distance, strokes, and equipment. Now on the board, I have four different workouts, and each workout is 2,000 meters. Each of these workouts takes anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes to complete, but most importantly, they're all the same quantitative distance of 2,000 meters, but the qualitative difference is quite striking. So let's take a look at each workout one by one. If we're looking at intensity, how can you vary the intensity of a workout, keeping it at 2,000 meters? So in this workout, we have a warm-up preset, main set that goes three rounds, and a cool down. The warm-up is a 300 freestyle in the easy energy zone, followed by 450s kick on 110, moderate. Now the preset is 425s drill, moderate, followed by a 200 best average. Now if we're looking at this workout, we're talking about intensity, and we have our zones listed out on the side. If we look at our zones, we started with easy, moderate, moving into best average. And on the main set that we're going three rounds, we're gonna go a little bit of speed work. We're gonna increase the intensity, the speed, and the power of which we're doing this workout. So we're going three 100s freestyle on the 120. That's a threshold type of set, short rest, followed by 250s freestyle on the 130. A lot more rest at a race pace effort. High intensity, maximum speed. And we're following that up with 225s freestyle on the 45, and these are a sprint, your max power and speed potential. You're gonna go three rounds of that, and you're gonna finish up with three 100s freestyle, easy energy zone. So if you look at this workout, you're going through all seven zones, both anaerobic and aerobic. You're starting with easy, moderate swimming, moving into a best average to get the heart rate up at the end of the preset. And then in the main set, you're gonna alternate between threshold, aerobic, short rest, swimming, and then you're gonna go race, pace, sprint, SP2, SP3 type swimming, really maximizing your, your heart rate and your aerobic and anaerobic output. So this is one workout, it's 2,000 meters, focus on varying your intensity. Now the next workout we're gonna look at is varying your distance. So we're gonna change up the distance, but the whole workout is gonna remain 2,000 meters. So if we look at this workout that varies by distance, we're gonna start with 850s freestyle, easy energy zone, followed by a 200 kick, moderate. So already in the warm up, we're alternating between 50 swim and a 200 kick. If we look at the main set, we're gonna go three different sets and each one is, four, is 400 meters. We're gonna go a 400 pull on six minute, that's endurance, followed by 850s free, threshold on the 40, that's a short rest, really maximizing your aerobic threshold. And then you're going four 100s pull, again, endurance. Now, if we look at the main set, really we're focused on the aerobic zones going from endurance to threshold, but the distance is changing dramatically. If you notice this workout, we're changing the variety by distance. So we go a 400, we're going 50s, we're going 100s. We're gonna cool down with 450s freestyle on the 50 in the easy energy zone. So this workout, very different from the intensity variety workout. And in this workout, we're really focused on changing up the distance, going from a 400 all the way down to a 50. Now, if we look at our third workout, we're adding variety by stroke type. So instead of just doing freestyle continuously, we're gonna vary up the stroke. So this actually has the most sets of all four workouts that I have written on the board. You're gonna start out with a 300 freestyle followed by 450s IM order. So IM order is where you go 50 butterfly, 50 backstroke, 50 breaststroke, 
50 freestyle. And it's okay if you don't do one of the strokes, like butterfly, for example. I always recommend people to do breaststroke or backstroke or kicking or side stroke. Really do anything to mix it up. It doesn't have to be butterfly. It could be your dominant stroke, which maybe is backstroke or breaststroke. So the preset, we're gonna go 425s drill, followed by 3100s stroke. So stroke, ST, is your choice of stroke. It can be anything, preferably not freestyle. It could be freestyle, like a pull, but it could be IM, could be backstroke, could be breaststroke, could be butterfly. And for 100, you could even alternate by 25 or 50. So if you swim in a short course pool, maybe you go backstroke, but you don't do the whole thing backstroke. You'll go backstroke, freestyle, backstroke, freestyle, and you alternate by 25. Now the main set in the stroke variety workout, we're doing all the strokes. We're gonna go three 100s IM, short for individual medley, where you go a 25 butterfly, 25 backstroke, 25 breaststroke, 25 freestyle. Those are threshold. Then you're gonna go four 25s butterfly endurance, four 25s backstroke endurance, four 25s breaststroke endurance. All of those 12 25s across three sets are gonna be on the 30. And then you're gonna go four 50s IM order, on the minute, best average. And that'll conclude the main set and you'll finish with 650s pull. So if you look at the stroke variety uh, workout, there's a lot of different things going on. You're doing freestyle, you're doing IM, you're doing freestyle, you're doing pull, you're doing butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, sets, you're doing IM at best average. And I love varying by stroke and individual medley because it really engages the most musculature and the most energy systems all at the same time. Plus, it keeps things really interesting. So if we move to our final workout, that's also 2,000 meters, but we vary by equipment. So toys, equipment, fins, paddles, snorkel, parachute, pull buoy, there's a whole number of different tools that you can use to keep things interesting, to not only increase your performance, but also your mental engagement while you're swimming. So we look at this final workout, we're gonna start with four 100s freestyle, nice and easy on the 140, followed by 650s kick, we're gonna wear fins when we do this kick, and if you wanna make an extra challenge when you push off the wall and streamline, try and go 10 meters underneath the water. If you're really good at underwater dolphin kicks, make it 15 meters underwater. If you're gonna go that, make sure you have fins and you get really get a good streamline. Nose clips are an option there. 825's drill, focus on whatever drill you want, but really use a snorkel. So we're gonna add a snorkel to this set, which is where it allows you to keep your face looking at the bottom of the pool. You can work on your stroke independently of having to worry about breathing, so you can work on rotation or a number of other different things. Then the main set, we're gonna go three rounds. We'll go a 100 IM, that's best average. We're gonna go 225s freestyle with a parachute, so a parachute, if you haven't seen one, just as it sounds, it's literally something that drags, you buckle yourself in and it drags behind you, causes a lot of resistance, catches the water, slows you down, increases your muscular engagement. It's like weight training in the water. And after 225s of those, you're gonna go a 50 freestyle sprint with fins and paddles. So you're really gonna maximize your body's potential, going as fast as you can with fins, with paddles, really get a lot of muscle engagement. Then you're gonna cool down with a 300 pull, flush out the lactic acid, wear paddles, and then 450s freestyle, easy. So whether you look at the equipment, strokes, distance, or intensity, all four of these are valid ways to add variety to your training. And the reason why you wanna add variety is because it can increase your performance. You're gonna get more musculature. When you train with equipment or you do different strokes, different distances, different speeds, you're actually gonna increase your feel of the water by engaging different muscles that you wouldn't ordinarily engage because you're swimming with so much variety. Now, if you swim continuously back and forth in the pool for 40 minutes and you do 2,000, that's great. You'll definitely get an aerobic potential out of that. But if you're really looking to get to the next level, you have to do structured workouts with varying intensities, equipment, distances, and strokes to get you to that next level. If you looked at these workouts and you thought that the intervals were maybe too difficult for you, or maybe you can't do the total volume of the swim, check out the My Swim Pro app. We have a ton of workouts that are varied by distance, intensity, and interval. And we also have dynamic intervals, which is a setting that allows the intervals and the workouts to dynamically tailor to how fast you are. If you like more workouts like this, let us know in the comments. That was Whiteboard Wednesday, how to vary your swim training. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.